In this video we will assemble the Z carriage. What you'll need for this first step is the two components that looks like this. Then in total three of them in your in your kit. Then four M3 by 20 screws, eight M3 by 16 screws, 12 M3 lock nuts, two M5 nuts, four linear bearing holders, four linear bearings, then two components that looks like this, and the two components that looks like this. Firstly we will insert the M5 nuts into these components. You might need to push them down a little bit so that this one can fit on the on the other side like that. Now we will bolt them down onto these components and we'll mount them onto those positions. For this we'll use the M3 by 20 nuts. So the one will go there and the other one will go there. Once you've done that, both of them should look like this. nicely bolted down. So the next step is to mount the linear bearings to the space provided. How we'll do that is we'll put the, the linear bearing in the linear bearing holder, it goes into the position provided and we'll screw it down with the M3 by 16 nuts. When you're done with that the same is, should look like this. Make sure that when you tighten the linear bearings that the blue component is not against the, the white component. There will be a slight gap. If you overstress them something will most probably break. For the next step we'll need this printed component. The M3 by 50 screw. 2 M2 by 20 screws, 2 M2 nuts and the X limit switch that's the one with the 350 millimeter cable on. First we'll take the end stop switch and the printed component and bolt it onto the printed component with the M2 screws that the switch is at the, the bottom like that. Now the end stop switch looks like this. And then for the last step, we'll screw this in from the top till it comes out the bottom. You can screw it in until it's about halfway in, like that. For the next step, you'll need the two assemblies that you did previously, together with this assembly. You'll need the third component that looks like this, as well as this component. Then you'll need 16 M3 by 25 screws and 16 M3 lock nuts. Then we'll take this assembly, put it on top of this one, and these screws will go into those four holes and those four holes and just hand tighten the lock nuts at the back. When you're done with that it should look something like this. So for the next step we'll place this assembly on top of that one. The end stop switch needs to be mounted together with those two screws. So again we'll put the screws in and we'll just hand tighten them. So 
so the end stop will be mounted together with with these two screws so we'll add those two screws those two and those four as well when you're done with that this assembly will look something like this everything is still loose but that is fine for the next step you'll require the 6 to 4 bearing 2 M4 washers 1 M4 by 25 screw and then also the M4 lock nut we will mount the bearing with the washers in there so there will be a washer, the bearing, a washer and then the other side and the screw will hold them in place from the top side at the back we'll fix it with the lock nut and at this stage we'll only also only tighten it by hand when we've done that this assembly looks like this with the screw and the two bearings of the bearing and the two washers on both hand sides